how much weight you can lift. Making sure the biceps are healthy and happy as we start getting into Maltese pushes, which is the first thing to go. Sets of push-ups. Again, turning your hands all the way around, hitting each individual angle. I really like this one, Maltese push-up, where you can push forward and push back. They go through every day, and you can ten in each of these in one set. I don't like that his head has dropped so much. The key element of all of gymnastics, a good hollow position. It is amazing how long it takes kids to figure out how to do a good hollow rock. And they will find every possible way to cheat. I don't know how you figure out how to relax this muscle and use this one to do a hollow rock. Did you all see it, right? They don't do it where they're actually rolling their hips underneath and get those lower abs in. So we do a lot of extra stomach strength because they piss me off a lot with the V-ups. I love saw bar like this, okay? Your feet should be going under the bar. If you saw that first one, you don't hear the audio of me screaming and everything puts feet under the bar. Um, there's a lower portion of your abs that you use that gymnasts figure out how to cheat and not use. When you're doing V-ups and leg lifts and all that stuff, especially on a stall bar where you can't pull down like this, forces them to figure out how to use that portion of your stomach. That portion of your stomach is key in that handstand stabilization. Um, just to show you kind of everything that's on that list, we do the whole lot. Right? Again, all these things, it's 15 minutes worth of time, so you gotta kind of move through it. Um, here's all your kinesthetic development. How does this apply to ring strength? Well, I'll tell you what, if a kid doesn't know where his body is, how are you gonna correct a strength position? And everything you do, I'm a huge proponent of trampoline, I'm a huge proponent of just analyze movement. A lot of this stuff, obviously I'm trying to wake up the legs so they're ready for practice, but learn where your body is. Perfect example, I get pissed every time I see that handstand. Every day it makes me angry. Because he can actually open his shoulders. But that thing I was talking about with his shoulders, because he's so far in, you get him on rings and it's here. You do a lot of handstand bounces. I think it's a fantastic way to actually learn how to use this portion of your shoulders. Right? That scapula part that I was talking about, that's what allows this to happen. If they don't know how to move that part of their body, they're always going to kind of sit in this position. I lost this first. What is that called? Uh, I'll go through that one more time. So that the hands 